Well, mailbag time. This week, not much at all. Uh, inbound, I don't think. I've got anything. This has come from China, uh, which is this building here, which is purported to be 187. It's an Outland Models, which are probably better known for their N scale stuff. They do a hell of a lot for N scale. Um, although their sizes can be a little bit self-interpretive as to the scale from what I've heard. Um, they haven't got a lot in 187 um, and some Chinese sellers seem to just you know ignore the scales anyway so you have to look at the size. They advertise this at 25 centimeters um, which I think is up to the top there where obviously like the elevator top is uh, it's nominal size here it's a bit dark in here tonight uh, is 23 now comparing it to the top of office block off my Kibri kit the windows are a bit smaller But uh, yeah, I mean with the VAT there is no shipping charges, it's 20 quid, which is sort of, well, about what kits are, if not they're considerably more than that. Um, but there is not really a lot in sort of the high rise office blocks, flats, apartments, there's not really much, nothing in the English market. There's a, a gauge master kit, which is HO anyway, so... Uh, I think it's a hotel, but it would be quite a compact high-rise hotel. Uh, but then this is no great thing. I mean, the footprint is there. Um, but I've seen these on eBay occasionally. There was three of them, and I went to bid on them, and they all went for twenty plus pounds plus the shipping. And I thought, well, you can buy them new for that. So I'll uh, take my chances and buy one where I glue it together, rather than look at someone else's mess and their glue. There's no real verbal instructions, it is fairly straightforward. They just have little square pips on the panels. You can just see there the top would be a roof section, a floor section and the mid section. Um, you don't get any acetate for the windows, which obviously is not a big deal because as soon as you buy anything from wheels or ratio you end up with a plethora of plastic. So easy enough to do the windows. I might add additional floors in it or just suspend dim lighting in it. It depends really. It will feature more in the background of any scenery so uh, but I, will, I will just sort of dry fit it to make sure all the bits are there and then uh, store it away because obviously assembling it is going to be more of a nightmare to store it and protect it uh, if I build it than um, leaving it like that. Um, the other thing I got was some, well I've intended them for a station platform. Uh, these lights were sort of around in the 60s, 70s and sort of continued on beyond that. Um, and I managed to get these, these were £1.40 plus the shipping. So they came out at £3.89. Now even EVE model who sell them on Amazon, I think you'll find them on eBay. Uh, they're, they're £10 plus VAT. Um, my, my wish list is not loading at the minute, but I do have them on there. Now they, they advertised theirs as a 187. These were advertised as 1100 scale. Um, but working these at 4mm to the foot, they're about 17 foot tall. Um, but as you can see, the bases move anyway, so you can make them whatever height you want. You know, if you want this couple of inches for end scale, you just hide the uh, excess below the mount. Uh, they're three volt, I believe, so you just need to add a resistor to them. But you know, for less than four pounds, you can't go wrong, can you? Ten for four pounds. Oh, we'll try this bit again with the shutter open, shall we? Right, yeah. A used bottle of cement. So used, in fact, there's nothing left in it other than the dried up bit at the bottom. But I might find a use for the bottle. 
if it doesn't melt when I put some mech in it. And we have a bag full of uh, empty sprues, which uh, not always a lot of use. So it looks like the uh, prospective modeler got that far and then put them in a box. So we have the uh, bits all in there. So I'm going to have to go through uh, when my eyes aren't quite as tired so I can check it all off and make sure it's all there. It's the Wheels Modern Level Crossing Kit. Uh, if you recall a few videos back I had another one of these which was a bit worse for wear but it had some other useful bits with it. That one was considerably cheaper than this one but this one is considerably cheaper than the new RRP. I paid about £16.5 for this kit um, and I think it's getting towards £30 in some places. So yeah, this will be an attempt at trying to animate the crossing. Uh, if I can get the other bits working and have the working signal warning lights and hook some servos up to the barrier arms and actually get it operating, although obviously we're a long way away from mechanising anything for a railway layer that's not even got a building yet. Um, but I am trying to find the brass etched kit that someone made at one stage. So the actual dangly bits on the barrier crossing dangle. Because you always need some dangly bits that look realistic, don't you? A bit dark and dingy today. Certainly not summer weather outside. So the only other one we've had this week was, oh, I think it was a purchase later, earlier this week. <laughs> Can you guess what I've got? Yes, more Yeoman PCAs. It probably will be the last lot, unless I see some that are invitably too good a price to turn away, but this was a lot of ten. So uh, it was sort of within within my budget. Some of them have got little minor bits missing off them, but nothing too major. So I'll just get them out. We'll have a quick look and call it quits for the for this webby sewed, I guess. Well, one's got a, a, a rather generous load of railway ballast, which I don't think should belong in a yeoman. So we'll have to uh, soak that and hope they've used PVA when we can dig that out. I did manage if uh, on my previous when I had the uh, what was it, MCAs were they the little 26 ton mineral wagons I managed to get all of the uh, crap that was in them glued in the larger sort of pea shingle looking stuff floats so I don't know what it's made of but we got that out so it, that might prove in, uh, useful for uh, some scene somewhere uh, but it weren't staying in the wagons so yeah we've got like this one missing buffers easily fixed with uh, cutting them off and gluing some new white metal ones in and that's got three lost on that one the brake reservoir details missing off this one somehow has managed to detach itself we've got another buffer head missing on this one um, there was one not uncommon with these horrible plastic cheapo corner cutting Hornby measures. The bottom bit what the hook attached to uh, snaps off like in that one. I think there's a couple of those that are broken so nothing major. That one's probably not going to last long the way they've screwed that one in so far it's on the verge of snapping but the old metal ones will replace these so I'll have to have a look around because I don't think I've got enough of them old metal ones to uh, make good all of them in one hit that one looks like it's got a dodgy wheel so plastic axles replace the axles um, they might clean up They look like they've all got their brake wheels on them. I think I, when I looked at the picture, 
Uh, yeah, so far so good. Yeah. Oh, just one there, so we'll have to uh, use them little clothing poppets I bought. They're a good substitute. Good enough for uh, this scale anyway. So yeah, they were, I can't remember what, they cost me about £70-odd, pounds, £75, pounds, something like that, for 10 so £7.50, £7.80 each, something like that they were with the post. So they were under my budget limit, I just need to find some MGRs around about the same money. I did message a guy on Facebook, he looked at the message and has not responded. I quite don't think that's the concept of being able to sell, but there you go, that's Facebook for you.